Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Hey, Kara Oosterhouse here with realagriculture.com. I'm back here today with another Canola School episode, and I have here with me Sean Sanko of the Canola Council of Canada. How's it going today, Sean? Good, thanks. So we're here to talk about the importance of a good tank clean out on your sprayer and how that can really impact canola. Do you want to elaborate? Yes, canola can be really sensitive to um, to a lot of the chemistries, and, and this time of year, um, you know, we're using a lot of um, pre-seed um, tank mixes, and a lot of those are are really um, effective on canola. It can take a very small amount to, um, to to damage the canola crop. So, and again, and we're we're you know we're seeding, we're bouncing from the seeder to the sprayer, and some of the worst times for sprayer tank hang up is when you leave something sit in the the tank overnight and. Um, you know, we can. I've seen it um, scrubbed out during the the canola spraying season. Um, you know, even after multiple tanks. So it, it's really key to to make sure that, especially if we let something sit in the tank. But really, any time um, we're going to that canola crop to to be doing a proper spray tank clean out and, and getting that chemistry out of there. Yeah, there's different. It depends on what um, what products you're using. Um, you know, the 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 SAS crop protection guide and both the label have um, you know the exact um, uh, methods and products you need to use in there. So there'll be different products depending on on what you've used before. So you know, it'll be multiple um, tank flushes um, with water and with the the particular product um, that that um, chemistry asks for. And it's also you know, don't forget about the booms. Um, a lot of times we see those V patterns in the field, and that can be from either um, you know line, strainers getting plugged up. Or also the boom end cap, so it's kind of a dead space in there. You can have um, herbicide build up in those areas, and every time the boom cuts on, it kind of gives a kind of like a vortex um, flush in there, and um, you know you'll you'll see areas of the field damaged. So cleaning out the tank really well, doing the proper rinse on that, and also cleaning out those booms um, well. Yeah, I've seen entire fields um, and multiple fields taken out. Um, you know, it really depends if it's where the product's hung up. Um, you know, if it's in the tank, it'll be the you know for, it'll, it'll be that entire field. If it's in the boom, sometimes it's only um, as you turn the booms on, you'll see like a V pattern for the first um, few hundred feet. Um, but yeah, no, there's been cases where there's been you know multiple fields of of canola damaged um, to the point of reseeding just out of one spare tank contamination. It it just keeps pulling it out of the the tank, the lines, wherever that contamination is. 